Watch It Played. My name is Andrea Smith, and this is Luke Smith, and we are here for our playthrough of Jaipur, Jaipur, Jasper, Jupiter. <laughs> I got a lot of comments on people saying, "Hey, you have to pronounce it this way," and people saying, "No, pronounce it this way." So by the end of it, I still don't know how to pronounce the title of this game. Speaking of YouTube comments, thank you for all the nice, good jobs and stuff like that. It's really awesome to be able to read that kind of stuff. <laughs> Yeah. So, I'm going to be going around to the other side of the table. You guys will be able to see my cards while we play, and let's go! And so now to get started, I'm going to deal, me and Luke, five cards each. Hope you have a hand full of camels! I like camels! And then I'm going to deal two more cards to complete the marketplace. For my first turn, I'm going to trade in two silver. Look at you trading things right away. Yes, I know. I get two silver now. Moha. For my turn, I'm going to be taking the spice and the gold, and I'm going to be putting back the silk and the leather. I don't really want to leave this gold for Luke, and spices don't look too bad to me. So for my turn, I'm going to take the lever, and I don't have to put anything back. Because it's only one card. Yeah. Now your turn, Andrea. And for my turn, I'm taking all these camels. Wow. <laughs> Some good zote for you. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Your turn, Luke. One more card needs to be placed. Yep. Forgot about that. Go. Thanks for all the silk, Andrea. I think I'll take them. You can't have them all for free. I know, I know. I'm going to place two card free cards down. Two lever. And a camel. Wait, I'm going to put these over. <laughs> now it's my turn. <laughs> yep. And now for my turn, I'm just going to take this one gold and flip over the top card. It's a silk. So for my turn, I'm going to take this silk. And then I'm going to flip over the top card. Leather. Your turn. For my turn, I'm going to trade in these two gold cards. I get to take the top two off the stack. And remember that when dealing with precious goods, which are diamond, gold, and silver, you have to always trade in at least two cards. Your turn, Luke. So for my turn, I'm going to trade in four silk. Wow. And get four silk tokens, and I get a special singing of bobber token. Bonus token. <laughs> now it's my turn. Yep. For my turn, I'm going to take these three leather and then put up three of my camels. And now, as you can see, I have seven cards and that is the max. Your, my turn. <laughs> it is your turn. So for my turn, I'm going to take all the camels. Now that's what I call camel time. And I'm going to restock the marketplace now. And that's your turn. It will be my turn. Now, my original plan before I saw these new cards was to trade in these three leather. But now I'm going to use them to exchange them for the three spices. It's Spice Town. Your turn, Luke. Okay. So now it's my turn, and I'm going to get all this leather. And then I'm going to trade in with four of my camels. What are you trying to do, Luke? Make a leather jacket? I don't know. Probably. Any guesses of what I'm going to do? I'm going to trade in these five spices. Wow. I can take the top five tokens. And I get to take a bonus token. Now it's your turn, Luke. So now it's my turn, and I'm going to trade in all this four leather. Coffee cat, making big trades, huh? Yep. Two, three, four, five. Wait, four. And now I'm going to get this special token. And it's your turn now. Now this turn's going to be pretty quick. I'm just going to take all these camels. We're just going to restock the marketplace. Yep. And now, Luke, it's your turn. Ooh. So now it's my turn, and I'm going to take this jewel diamond. And then I have to replace it with a card. Huh. Oh my goodness! And this is the time where you would want to have a lot of camels. So I'm just going to take 
these precious goods and put some camels back. So now it's my turn and Andrew, I know you got all those precious cards, but now I'm gonna get all the precious tokens. I'm gonna put in two jewels and get two jewels back. Two diamonds. Diamonds. My Your turn. Your turn. You know what, Luke? I'm a big fan of what you did last turn. I'm gonna do the same. Trading in two diamonds with two diamond tokens. My turn. So now it's my turn and I'm gonna take this card. Well, what is it? Um, it looks like a wrinkly blanket. <laughs> it's a silk. Oh, sorry. Now it's your turn. Here I am, we're stocking the marketplace. Now it's your turn. Yeah. I'm gonna sell my two silver. And then get two silver tokens. It's your turn, Luke. So I'm gonna take three of these camels. It's the special camel! Yay! Now this camel's kind of special. It actually has a stuffed or dead panda on its back. And to be honest, I'm not 100% sure why it's there, but it is a pretty cool Easter egg for this game. So I'm just going to take this gold for my turn. And now it's Luke's turn. Now I'm going to take these two spicy spices and trade in two camels. Now it's my turn. And I'm going to empty my hand this turn and trade in my two gold cards and get two gold tokens. Your turn, Luke. Now I'm going to take all the camels. Looks like you're expanding your herd. Woo! Uh-oh. Now it's my turn. I'm going to take the diamond and the gold and put up these two camels. I don't like anything here, so I'm just going to take the camels. Four camels. Some leather. Diamond. Your turn. Now this is a pretty simple decision. I'm just going to take this one diamond right here. Now I'm going to take the silk and the spices? spicy spice. And I have to trade in two camels. Now, if you haven't noticed yet, I'm just really in the selling mood, so I'm going to sell them these two diamond. And usually I take two, but there's only one left. And now one of the stacks of goods tokens are gone. And once three are gone, the round is over, and I'm going to take away one of those stacks by trading in three spices. And, and I get a token. bonus. Now it's my turn, and I'm just going to take these three camels. Some silver and some leather. Your turn, Luke. I'm lucky to have all those camels because now I can take five cards, which I'm going to do. There you go. Now, Luke, you've left me no choice. I'm taking all the camels. And I even got the panda one, too. We're getting down in our pile. Your turn. Now I'm going to sell free leather. And I get a bonus token. Your turn. So I'm just going to take these two silk and put up two of my camels. I'm not putting up that special panda one. And now it's your turn, Luke. Now I'm going to end the game by buying two silver and pick up the last piece of silver. And now three goods tokens piles are gone, so the game ends. Yep. So I've come back around the table. Now, as you can see, I left out my camels. I have the most, so I'm gonna get that extra five bonus points. Now we're gonna clear everything off the table except for the tokens me and Luke have collected. It's time to add up our points. So now it's time to count up the points. You can flip them over, and they just have the plain numbers on the back, which makes it easy for counting. And also, I would suggest that you put them into groups of 10 points. So here we have a 2 and an 8. That makes a group of 10. 5 and a 5. Another 10. 5 another 5. Now me and Luke are going to finish counting up the rest of our tokens, and then see who the winner is. So my total was 75. And mine was 73!
I lost by just two points. I know, it was pretty close. And since I win, I get to have the Seal of Excellence. Now remember, in a usual game, you'd play again until someone has two Seals of Excellence. So technically, Luke, you didn't really lose. You only lost the first round. Now, I know this was a game you guys couldn't really participate in, but I hope you still felt like you were part of it. And we'll see you in the next game. And if you have any questions or anything you want to say about this game, just leave it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.